watching PBS. show with me Bob Ross and now our director guys are going to show the colors you'll need on the screen there and we're going to make a happy little painting and uh, so let's get this puppy started so now you're going to want to use your emo black here and you're just going to make some some happy little clouds just just fill them in just just like just like that and remember don't follow exactly what I'm doing do your own thing this is this is your own your own painting this is your world you can do whatever you want okay and so when we're done with the emo black here we're going to use the sewage green and then we're going to draw a happy little tree just just right here you want to make the trunk just just like that just fill her in yeah and then you want to continue using the sewage green and then you just want to make some just make some branches just barely touch just barely touch okay just like that just little branches happy little branches okay and then after we're done with that you just want to want, want to make some leaves just press on the board just like that just happy little leaves on our tree. Okay. And remember, this is your world. You don't have to follow what I'm doing. Just do your own thing. And now you're going to want to take the emo black again. And then you just want to make a, make a mountain. Start from the tippy top. Just go down. Just jet down just like that. All right, you know what? Let's let's do something a little crazy here. Let's uh, let's take the demonic crimson. All right, and then we're just gonna fill in our mountain, just a big old red mountain, just just like that. Just color it in, there. Just long, easy strokes. Remember, once again, this is your own world. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. So you can just make anything else, anything else you want, just, just like that if you wanted. Okay. Oh, and then we're going to take the, the demonic crimson again. We're just going to draw some little red apples. Let's make an apple tree. Some little red apples. Like the ones from Snow White, except <laughs> a little less poisonous. Some, some red apples, like that. All right, and then we're going to want to take the the Miles Davis blue here, and we're just going to make us make ourselves just a little pond, just like that. Just fill it in. Cool, calm pond. Just like that. Okay. And uh, after we're done, you just want to just want to sign your name, and then we have ourselves a finished painting. Just, just like that. All right. Well, I'm glad you could join us. Uh, all right. And that'll be it. That's our painting. Join us next week when we tackle surrealist painting. All right. Happy painting. God bless. This is Create.
today on Antique Roadshow, we're at Afton High School, a learning environment for students of the Afton area. Afton High School has been around since... What? What do you mean you didn't look it up? Mm, I didn't have time. You're fired, okay? Afton High School has been around since... for a very, very long time. Some say it's an antique itself. Let's go look at some antiques. <laughs> today on Antique Roadshow, I have this lovely young lady. What do you have for us today? I have an antique textbook. A textbook? It's That's really not an antique. But it's really old! Get out, she's useless. <laughs> He's next. Hello, I'm here with Susan. And what do you have for us today on Antique Roadshow? I have this this really old pencil. A pencil? Seriously? How is that an antique? My grandma gave it to me. Yeah, thanks grandma for the really old gift. Let's go. Finally, we've got someone with a real antique. Ma'am, how long have you had this dish? Oh, this is an antique. I got it from the dollar store. It's really good quality, though. Like, I can show you. What's wrong with this podunk town? Don't they know what an antique is? God, I am so sick and tired. I love to cook. I like eating. Travel, yeah. Fine furniture. Gardening. Painting. Chop up some onions, some garlic. A couple of craft shows. Get the glue, get the clamps, put it back together. Just paint it. My noodle cooker rules. Don't be messing with my noodle cooker. I love the travel shows. Plants and gardens and... Cheesecakes. Plaid wallpaper. I recommend watching the show from start to end. And they tell me how to do it. It was creation happening. It's beautiful. Create. 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 Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. And then Bobby tiptoed down the creaky hallway with his flashlight, searching for that mysterious noise coming from the kitchen. What was that? Mr. Snuggles, should I check where that noise is coming from? Okay, stay right here. I'll be back. Why doesn't this jar open? some help? Yes. There you go. Mr. Snuggles, you won't believe what I just saw in the kitchen. You're watching PBS.
Victory Gardens Edible Feast is a relaunch of the classic PBS series, combined with the deep local knowledge of edible magazines. From Minnesota to Memphis, the Bay Area to Brooklyn, we'll learn about everything from crab trapping and grass-fed dairy to fermentation and rooftop farms. The best time to plant the seeds is in the winter, so they can get comfortable in their new homes before hatching in spring. The hole should be three tablespoons deep and two tablespoons wide. And make sure you cover the holes completely uh, so they're nice and toasty um, in their new homes. We have given our plants four weeks to start growing and um, well, you can really smell the progress in the air even though you can't tell. We'll just have to give them a little longer till they show their little heads. It has been six weeks and you can really, really smell the growth in the air. These little guys are going to be popping their heads out any day now. Eight weeks after planting and I'm sure little guys are going to be sticking their heads out of the ground. Um, Pansy, your your seeds are jelly beans. What? Your your rainbow seeds? Those those are jelly beans. Create the fun part of your day every day. Now you can shop online at shopcreate.com for books and DVDs of your favorite shows. From home improvement to travel, cooking, and gardening, it's in the bag at shopcreate.com. Hello there, my name is... You know what, it's not important. Me telling you my name is going to help you make these great recipes. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a recipe I found off the internet. I believe it's supposed to be brownie. Well, anyway, let's get started. You need a nice big mixing bowl, a blender, a whole bunch of food you don't need. So just dump it all in. Yeah, and now we have this secret powder and now you can buy it almost anywhere but however you can buy it from me for a low low price of twenty dollars so we just add a bit of that in. now carefully add a little bit of salt and now you mix it all up I like doing this with my bare hands okay now if you don't think this would be enough brownie batter, add some paper in the filler. I find it makes it give a very zesty flavor. Now, dump all of it in to a blender. And then you shake it up for five minutes. Now, give this wonderful brown dough looking stuff and put it in here. Now, if you want to, you can shape this. You can make a lot of wonderful shapes. You can make stars, you can make a circle. And for the really creative mind, you can make a silhouette of yourself. And now, place it all back in the bowl and put it in about 30 minutes. Now, real important, remember to clean up your area, otherwise you'll be greeted by a friendly swarm of ants in a few days. Join me next week as I show you how to make a cherry pie out of nothing but 
tree bark, and red paint. Log on to createtv.com and explore your passions. Learn more about your favorite hosts and shows. Find the latest schedules and recipes. Do some shopping and get how-to tips. It's all here at createtv.com.